Hi, I'm Amy Chan from VCU School of Pharmacy or Virginia Commonwealth University School of Pharmacy. Hi, I just picked up my prescription. Hey, uh, my name is Amy. Uh, I can definitely help you with that. Uh, I'm a student pharmacist and it's nice to meet you. Um, before we begin, could I kindly ask you for your name and date of birth? Uh, Elias, uh, 21484. Okay, and what's your last name? Uh, Thompson, T-H-O-M-S-O-N. Okay, great. Yeah, it looks like we do have a prescription ready for you for venlafaxine. It's a 75 milligram capsule from Dr. Andrews. And before we, before I give you this medication, could I just take a minute to kind of go over this medication with you and uh, discuss what you already know and fill in any gaps and address any concerns you might have along the way? Sure. Does that sound okay? Okay, great. Yeah. So when you were visiting with Dr. Andrews, what did they tell you this medication is used for? Um, so the, the past 10 months have been kind of rough. Um, especially on me, a lot happened. I um, like lost my job and um, my um, my best friend um, overdosed and she passed away. And um, just a whole bunch of stuff regarding just pandemic, obviously. Um, it's just been kind of hard. Um, and uh, it, it feels like if I, if I didn't like seek help or something, then then you know i was going to probably do something that i didn't want to do or something um so this is kind of like the the only route that i see that i can go without going down some similar path that my you know my good friend went down um because she wouldn't want me to you know do something like that with her you know, yeah, going definitely. down that road so um after talking with you know dr andrews you know we obviously concluded that that you know i have depression and that this is you know probably the best bet for me right now um so yeah sorry yeah no i'm i'm, I'm glad you were uh, open enough to share that with me i'm so sorry that this is happening to you and I, I understand that it's definitely rough on everybody with the pandemic and it's hard to to kind of you kind of feel like that you're alone in the pandemic because it's you have to socially distance and you don't feel like there's anyone to talk to, but I do want to let you know that we are here for you. And if you ever need someone to talk to, that's not even just medication. I know that's what we're going to talk about in a sec, but um, just I just want to emphasize that we are here for you to talk about anything that you may need to discuss. Okay. Thank you. But yeah, like like you had mentioned, this is for this medication is going to help with your depression. Um, did Dr. Andrews talk about how to take the medication, or what did they say about that? Um, we just said you know, once a day, we talked about taking it in the morning and yeah. I, I can't remember what else we talked about. Yeah, it, that's exactly right. You're going to take it once a day with food. Um, morning is better, but as long as you take it at the same time each day, um, that's the important part. You are going to swallow the capsule whole. Don't crush it or chew it or open it up. And uh, if you do happen to miss a dose, maybe it's later in the day, you forgot to take it in the morning, um, take it as soon as you remember. But if it's the next day, don't take two doses, just stick to the one dose, okay? Don't double up doses, basically. Sure. And uh, since you will be taking it with food, I recommend that you store it in the kitchen, um, maybe somewhere that's cool and dry, maybe the cupboard, just kind of keep it away from moisture if you can. And there is one refill on this prescription, so in about 30 days, um, we will see you again so that you can pick up that one refill. All right. Okay. Cool. And what did Dr. Andrews go over with you in terms of side effects to expect? Um, I don't think we talked about side effects. Okay. Yeah. So the most common ones are insomnia or dizziness, maybe some drowsiness. Um, so because it can cause that insomnia, I do want to warn you to not drive until you know how this affects you. And I do also want to mention just a couple of warning signs. This can cause you to be like very excitable. It can increase your heart rate, increase your sweating. So if those do occur or if it's bothersome or if it doesn't seem to be improving, go ahead and give us a call or um, contact your provider so they can discuss that with you. Okay. And uh, what other questions do you have about this medication? Uh, I, can't, it? I can't think of anything right now. Okay, and just so I, I know that I've hit on the main points, can you uh, tell me how you're going to be taking this medication? Um, and take it uh, like once in the morning, preferably um, once a day. Don't double dose. Uh, store mm -hmm. it in you know a dry place like the kitchen, 
yeah. and it can have side effects. So don't drive, you know, until you know how it affects you. Yeah, exactly. And uh, a couple of key points, definitely take it with the food. Um, try to avoid alcohol while you're taking this medication.